Next up on WTV, the use of ChatGPT on campus, academic patches, and caps and gowns. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today's Wednesday, April 26th, and I'm Sachi Kuchu with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Graduation is less than a month away, and seniors are starting to get ready for the ceremony. WTV's Lauren Pratt has the story. December 14th was the last day for seniors to order their cap and gown, and after several months, the wait is over and Jostens will be distributing students' graduation caps, gowns, and stoles tomorrow in the gym hallway. For senior Pranav Thoppe, the cap and gown is a representation of what he's been working towards for the last four years. It symbolizes that we get to move on to college or whatever else you're doing and graduate. We get to grow as a person and move on to whatever else we're doing for the rest of our lives. Seniors can pick their orders up between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Reporting for WTV, I'm Lauren Pratt. With AI technology on the rise, students and teachers have started to see it being used on campus. WTV's Nicholas Hamilton takes a look at what this means. The popular AI chatbot, ChatGPT, is now being used on campus. AP research teacher Chris Ham believes that if used responsibly, ChatGPT can help students in learning. If you're using it to help think of ideas and to brainstorm, kind of, ha kind of like have someone to talk to, to like articulate thoughts and like go back and forth, like it's great for that. Similarly, junior Alexander Morgan believes that ChatGPT can be useful in a school environment. I don't think it's responsible for your learning, but I think that it can yeah, it can be a useful tool in school and academics. However, ChatGPT can and is being used in other ways. I, I think the most consistent conversations teachers and parents have had about its use has been with issues of plagiarism, um, just you know, academic honesty issues, cheating, that sort of thing. But I think there's a lot more to talk about beyond that. But at the same time, Dodi believes that in time, AI technology will become an accepted part of the school environment. I think long term, um, the conversation is going to be a lot different, even by the time students who are in school or graduate from college. I mean, already there's jobs for things like prompt writer for, for AI technology. Reporting for WTV, I am Nicholas Hamilton. While only seniors can purchase a cap and gown, all students can add to their letterman jackets. WTV's Vern Servanen has the story. The school gives out academic patches for juniors and seniors who have achieved a cumulative GPA of 4.5 or higher for five semesters. And the second way also to get the academic patch is through um, participants in academic UILs or academic decathlon. That's the other way. When the, when the students win a medal or a ribbon, uh, either individually or on a team, they can also apply to get the academic patch. If you meet the requirements, then an academic patch can be claimed by stopping at the Register Office, A123, to fill out the application. Reporting for WTV, I'm Varun Sarvanit. On the newest edition of STEM Spotlight, AP Computer Science Principals teacher Alexa Hamilton teaches students about transferring data across the internet. Students are delving into the intricacies of the internet, learning more about the mechanisms that allow us to share files and information across the world. So when you're sending things on the internet, a lot of times they're broken down. So if you send like a picture from your phone to Instagram or something, so your phone will break down your image based on um, how big it is and then transport it, transport it in pieces. And then once like Instagram receives it, they'll make sure they have all the pieces, put them together, and then you can like post. And that's how you kind of send messages. It works the same way kind of with texts, emails, things like that. Having a deep understanding of the inner workings of the internet is foundational knowledge for anyone interested in the computer science field. Um, it's very beneficial when you are working, like even with our ice storm and everything. Um, I think it's very beneficial to kind of understand that because then you understand even though um, a router might be down in your, you know, neighborhood in your area, <laughs> your information can still get sent, it just will be sent a different way that's very applicable within like your life, um, how you know you get all your schoolwork done, it's all over the internet. Reporting for WTV, this is Rayan Mansour. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. 
or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Until Thursday, there's an art show in room H102 in the Art Hall, featuring works from Al Zhang, Giselle Moss, Grayson Myers, Adeline Mosa, Shruti Shah, Ananya Ramesh, and Ananya Naimbar. Here's your daily SEA Earth Month fact about climate equity. Due to uneven distribution patterns, minority and low-income communities have far less access to green spaces than white, affluent communities, and have limited resources to maintain green spaces they do have. Join the Students for Environmental Action Remind using the code at libsea22. Here's your chance to tell your teachers thanks for all they do to help you during the year. Write a note and we will deliver your note along with a sonic drink or candy bar to your teacher during Teacher Appreciation Week. The educational travel opportunity of a lifetime is available to all students in the summer of 2024 in a non-Frisco ISD affiliated EF Tours trip being led by teacher Brian Higgins. To find out more about this unique travel experience, register using the QR code on the screen for the Zoom information and enrollment meeting on May 4th. The annual beach volleyball tournament is being held on May 13th at the beach in Craig Ranch. Scan the QR code to register and pay by May 8th. That's it for today's daily update. This is Sachi Kuchu for Wingspan TV.